Welcome back everyone. This is part two of my Grumbot tutorial. In the first part, we built this exterior to him here, and now we're gonna go inside and have a look at all the redstone. Before we start, if you're not already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And also, come follow me on Twitter and join the Discord server where you can get updates about upcoming videos and make suggestions for any videos you'd like to see in the future. Now, on with the video. So with the redstone, the first thing we wanna do is fill this dropper right here with our different responses. So we're gonna use these anvils, or you can just place down a separate anvil to do this, whatever you want, to name our pieces of paper with whatever we want our responses to be. Now you don't need to worry about what order you put those in here, because a dropper, when it is powered, is gonna select a random item from one of its slots to give you. So we'll stick a button on that so I can show you. If I press it once, you're gonna get cannot predict now. If I press it again, don't count on it, press it again outlook good and so on it's just going to give us a random one each time so we don't need to worry about any kind of fancy circuitry to be dealing with getting a random answer from it now that we've done that we can actually start taking a look at some of the redstone inside this thing so we're going to start with the redstone in the lower section in the body here and then we're going to go and do the redstone inside the head and the first thing we're going to do is want to do the circuits that are going to make this make all those nice computery sounds when we press the buttons. Now those four buttons are on the other side of these two black blocks here and these two ones just here. We're going to start by doing the redstone for the buttons on this one, which is Prime Grumbot and Bootload Brain. And then we're going to go and do uh, Flood Mail Reservoir and Insert Question Diamond. Okay, so for Priming Grumbot, you want to place a bit of redstone on top of this black block right here. We're then gonna take our solid blocks and you want to place them just like this. So you have a kind of V shape just next to that redstone like that. And we're gonna place a repeater inside facing from this block into this block. And we want it to be set to a two tick delay. We're then gonna come over to this side and we're gonna place a note block next to that one and that one. And underneath those note blocks, we want to place an emerald block each. We now want to set these note blocks to the right pitch. Now, obviously this is entirely uh, up to your own preference what you want to do it. But for my one, what I'm gonna do is this one near the wall, I'm going to right click on it twice. And this one here, I'm gonna right click on it three times. And if we head around to the front and press the button, we should here when we press this prime grumbot button, it's gonna make that beep beep sound that we all know so well from Hermitcraft. For bootloading the brain, we're gonna place our piece of redstone underneath this black block here. And then we're gonna do a similar arrangement with our two solid blocks like this with a repeater set to two tick delay going between them. On this side, we wanna break out these two floor blocks and replace them with emerald blocks. On top of the emerald blocks, we place our note blocks and then we're gonna set these note blocks to the correct pitch, which for this one, I'm going to click on it five times. And this one is six. For flooding the mayoral reservoir, you do exactly the same as you did over here with the three solid blocks and your repeater on two tick delay with your little dot of redstone on top there. But we're gonna place our note blocks and our emerald blocks on the other side so they don't get interfered with by this. And now we are going to set this one. We're gonna click it eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one nine times. Let's double check everything works. So we can prime Grumbot. We can bootload the brain. And we can flood the mayoral reservoir. Now for the button for inserting the question diamond, things obviously get a little bit more complicated because of course this one is not just making the sounds, this is actually activating the whole machine. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down two of the floor blocks underneath this black block here that the button is on and two next to it. And we're also gonna dig out two down on these three blocks here next to this setup right here. We're gonna jump into that hole and we're gonna dig from these two, seven more on both of these going that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you've dug out all of that, we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna dig out two going this way underneath these. So one, two, and we're gonna do this for six blocks. Two, three, four, five, six. 
These ones here, you can actually dig out the top ones as well just to make access easier for yourself. But don't dig out any of these top ones because you might break some of the redstone up there. So we'll start by doing the redstone that goes under here before things start getting too crowded down here. So the first thing we want to do is place a repeater facing that way there and we want to set it to a two tick delay. We're going to stick some redstone dust like that and like that and then some more coming down here with a repeater running into it like that. Now in this corner here we're going to stick down a piece of redstone with a repeater and a full four tick delay. Two more bits of redstone like that and then we're going to take some comparators and go one two three four running that way four running back like that with a couple of bits of redstone dust on the end take your emerald blocks and place one here and one here and place a note block on top of each of those to set the pitch of these two note blocks you've just placed you're going to click on this one 21 times and this one 22 times come back down into your hole we're going to place a temporary block underneath that black block and we want to have a observer facing up into it and you can then break that. So actually breaking that temporary block has set this off so you can see what it does which is when you press that button this is gonna have a, like a loop like that which is gonna pl play that beep beep, beep 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 sound for when the machine is thinking. And then go ahead and cover all of this stuff up so that you can't see it. And now we'll do the rest of the circuitry for this button. Back inside the machine, we're going to place some redstone on top of that observer. Don't worry about it setting those off. And then we're going to place two solid blocks there with our repeater on a two tick delay between them. We're going to place our emerald blocks in the floor with our note blocks on top of them. And now we're going to click on this one 11 times and this one 12 times. So now if we come back around to our front, we can do all four of these buttons. We can press Prime Grumbot, Bootload Brain, Flood the Mirror Reservoir, and insert Question Diamond. And it is going to do all of our sounds quite nicely for us. So now that we've sorted out all of our sound effects, we need to actually do something with that Question Diamond that gets inserted. So for starters, we're going to place a temporary block just here next to where these emerald and note blocks are and then we're going to take our hoppers and we want to use our hoppers to run a line of hoppers around from this dropper into here so we're going to place it facing into there a bunch of hoppers facing into each other like that run them back around here like this all facing into each other and then the last one if i can faces into that one so now our when we press our button our dropper is going to spit its item into this hopper which is going to run it all the way around here to this one here. Now what we want to do is we want to send this item, this question diamond that's come around here, up into Grumbot's head so that it can trigger the circuits that are going to make him wiggle his moustache and potentially make him do some sort of expression as well. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come up here and we want to knock this through so we have a clear way through all the way into Grumbot's head. We're then going to place a piece of soul sand just here next to and between these two note blocks and we want a dropper facing into that soul sand and now we are going to put a bunch of glass up the sides of this to make sure that none of the water that is going to be in this column can escape. With the glass in place we can come inside this column and we're going to fill it with water all the way up to Grumbot's head. So there we go we are in Grumbot's head and you should be able to see that if you jump in this water you get all those bubbles pushing you up and you can't swim down it that means you have placed all those water sources correctly and it's all water sources up here so that that bubble stream is going to come all the way up of course at the moment there's nothing to tell this job to actually spit its item into the bubble stream so we're going to place four solid blocks in a square next to the dropper and the hopper like that this one is going to be a solid block and we're going to have a comparator running from the hopper into that solid block with a bit of redstone dust and then a repeater sets to a three tick delay going into the dropper. So what's going to happen is this comparator is going to detect the item coming into this hopper and then by the time that signal reaches around to here to go into the dropper that item has moved into the dropper the signal hits it and it spits its item which shoots up the water there. The last thing we're going to do down here before we go and start dealing with the stuff in the head is we're going to rig this bit of redstone here into a bit of a delay circuit so that as well as powering that drop it's going to send a signal off this way which is going to go through its delay and eventually power the lights and the dropper here just so that 
in the time it takes to go around that delay and power those, those are going to power just after all of our face related circuitry up here finishes doing its thing. So to make the space for that delay circuit, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come out to the front of the machine here and from this column, this corner right here, we're gonna come out one, two, three, four blocks, dig down two and then do that so we have a four wide and two deep trench like that, just there. We're then gonna dig this back in to the machine until it goes as far as where our yellow or whatever you're using as your solid blocks are like that. So it's gonna come into the machine right to here. Now to make the circuit, we're gonna place two more solid blocks coming out of this. We want a repeater on a four tick delay. And then we're gonna make some redstone dust coming down here like this. And we're gonna have four more repeaters going one, two, three, four. And all of those are gonna be on a four tick delay as well. Stick a bit of redstone on the end with a repeater going across to it. Don't put any delay on this one. Another bit of redstone, and we're gonna have one, two, three repeaters coming back like that, all of them also on a four tick delay. Now we actually want our lights to flash twice, not just once, when this thing completes its calculations. So we're gonna place another repeater here, here, and here. Put all of them on four tick delays and connect them with redstone like that. So what's gonna happen is our pulse from this is gonna come down here. It's gonna go over like that. And while that's doing this, there's gonna be a little bit more of a delay going around here. So coming out of here, we're actually gonna get two pulses, one from this bit and one from this bit, which is gonna make our lights flash twice. And then to power our dispenser, we wanna place a bit of redstone in this corner over here. Three repeaters coming back like that, all on their four tick delay. And another bit of redstone just there finish off the circuit to make our lights flash, we're gonna place some redstone on the end of these repeaters on this side. It's two solid blocks here with the redstone coming up it. And then we're gonna place a slab here so that the redstone can come back from here up onto the slab. We're gonna do the same over here so it can go onto that one. And a third slab up there, just level with the top of these black ones here. And then we're going to place two solid blocks next to the lights and run that redstone oops, run that redstone over them like that. So the redstone being powered across here is going to power these blocks below it, which is going to power those lights. Then to power the dropper, we're going to come over here and place the solid block directly below the dropper. Have three blocks going to it like that, and a block here. And then we're going to take our redstone and from that little bit of redstone at the end of these repeaters over here, we're going to place one there, one there, have a repeater there and have a last bit of redstone running straight into that block below the dropper in order to power it. And that ladies and gentlemen is all of our circuitry for this lower part of the machine done. So we can come back out here and we can cover up all of this stuff like this. Now we can actually give this thing its first test. So if we stick an item, it can be any item, it doesn't have to be a diamond in our dropper here and press our insert diamond question. We'll hear it making its thinking sounds. And then when it has done with its thinking, we'll see the lights flash and it spits out some sort of answer. Okay, my sources say no, apparently, even though we didn't ask it anything. And if we come up here into the head, we can see that the item we've put in has made its way all the way up here as well, which is good. That means everything is working just as it should. Next to this piece of glass, we want a solid block like that. And I'm actually going to be using concrete just for this little bit, as opposed to the wall that I've been using. And the reason for that's gonna become apparent in a second. We want a dropper on top of that facing off this way away from the water and then behind that dropper facing into it we want a hopper. Stick a solid block on top of that dropper, stick some glass either side of the hopper like that and then we can fill this water up like that so it comes up to the very top like this and we're going to top that off with a bit of glass to make sure that those items don't come flying out. I'm going to place a solid block just in front underneath the dropper like that and build it up on the other three sides like this and we're going to place a lava bucket just on the inside of it like that. Lava bucket, that's the other thing I forgot. The purpose of this lava right here is basically just to destroy that item once we're done with it and once we've used it to set up our circuit just so we're not clogging up the area up here with items. Anyway once you've placed all of that you can just close off the top of that with two more solid blocks like so. Now before we start any of our circuitry up here what we want to do is break out all the blocks that are behind the eyes and behind the moustache. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll see you guys in a second once I've done that. 
There we go, I've done all of that. And we're now gonna start placing the pistons that move all of this stuff. So we'll start with the eyes, and for the eyes, each of these top four sea lanterns here needs to have a piston for it. So we're gonna place three temporary blocks coming out of each of those like that. We're gonna break all but the furthest one of them. And then we're gonna place sticky pistons here facing towards the eyes. And we can now get rid of these temporary blocks. We're gonna do the same over there. For the mustache, we're going to be using slime blocks and honey blocks as well as sticky pistons. So we're gonna start by placing our slime blocks in these three blocks and these three blocks here. And then those two blocks and those two blocks just there. We're gonna to switch to our honey blocks and those honey blocks are going in those two and in those two. We're then gonna place two temporary blocks coming out of the middle slime block there, out of this honey block here and out of this slime block here and do the same on the other side. Break these temporary blocks that are just ne directly next to the slime and honey blocks, and then we're gonna carefully place pistons facing from these into the slime and honey blocks. With our pistons done like this, we now have our two blocks in the middle here, and two blocks on each tip of the mustache. They do not have their own sticky block, so they're each gonna need their own piston. So we're gonna bring two temporary blocks out of each of them like this, and we're gonna use those to place sticky pistons facing directly into those blocks, and I'll see you in a second once I've done that. With that done, you'll have a setup that looks like this, and we can now start to put in some of the circuitry that powers this thing. We're gonna start by taking a comparator output from our dropper there. That's gonna run straight into a solid block with some redstone on the top of it. Next, we're gonna have a repeater running out of it there, and on the other side, and one block lower, another repeater running out of it like that. While we're here, we're gonna place two more solid blocks here and run a line of redstone up along here to power our dropper here. Remember that when you have powered redstone dust, it powers the block it is sat on. And if there is a powered block next to a dropper, that is enough to get it to spit out an item. Now we're gonna to come to our pistons and we're gonna run solid blocks along the back of these pistons like so. And once we've done that, we're gonna come out like this and run that into these pistons on the end like so. With all of those placed, we're gonna run redstone dust all the way along the top of this here. And then we can connect into our bit of circuitry just down here. Now remember, we want this mustache to waggle twice when we power this. So before we run this into this, we're gonna run it over here and we're gonna create a little circuit just here that is going to create two pulses rather than just the one. So from this bit of redstone dust here, we want a repeater like that. We want a repeater going out here on a four tick delay. We want a bit of redstone dust here and we want another repeater here on a three tick delay. We're gonna have this repeater running into a solid block and we're gonna make this into a staircase coming up to there like that and then we're going to run redstone dust all the way up like so. We can actually give this another test now at this point. So if we go in here and we throw an item in there and press our deposit, we should see in a second that that mustache is gonna waggle. There it goes. Now for the eyes, what we're going to do is create a circuit that randomly selects between three options of either giving Grumbot angry eyes, sad eyes, or just the normal neutral expression that he has anyway, whenever he is dealing with a question. To start with, we need to make sure that all of our pistons are powered so they are actually stuck to the eye blocks. So we're gonna bring two solid blocks out like this from the high ones and two out like this from the lower ones. We're then gonna run repeaters into those high ones and redstone dust into the lower ones. And we're gonna go do the same over here. Once we've done that, we're gonna have solid blocks at the ends of those like this. And once we've done that, each of these solid blocks is gonna get a redstone torch put on it like this. And that is gonna power all of our pistons. For the angry eyes, we want to depower these two and these two pistons in the middle here. So to do that, we're gonna run a line of solid blocks between these two blocks here and run redstone dust all the way along that. And what's gonna happen is when this redstone dust in the middle is powered, it's gonna depower this torch and this torch and the same on the other side, which is gonna give Grumbot angry eyes. We can actually test that by sticking a lever there and turning it on. And if we go around to the front of Grumbot here, there we go, 
The pair of meat, Mr. Angry Eye. For the sad eyes, we need to do the opposite, power the two on the outside. So we are going to run solid blocks around like so. And again, redstone dust all the way around here so that when this is powered, that is going to depower those sad eyes and we can test it in the same way. Oh, look at him with his wee sad eyes. It's just heartbreaking. To start off the circuit that powers all of this stuff up here, we're going to come to the end of this bit just here. We're going to place solid blocks like that and one here. And then we're going to staircase it up from this one. One, two, and three. And we're going to run our redstone dust all the way up it like that. That bit of redstone dust on the top is running into a solid block. And we are going to have a dropper on top of that block facing along like that. Now you want that dropper you've just placed to be full of three items and you can use any item. I'm just using paper here, but whatever items you use, you want each of those three items to have a different name. So I'm just going to use paper here and I'm just thinking randomly off the top of my head. So you could call it something like subscribe or like the video, whatever you want. But just to keep things obvious as to what each one means, I'm going to call one of these pieces of paper angry. I'm going to call one of them sad. And I'm going to call one of them normal. So we can stick those three pieces of paper into our dropper in any order we want. And then we need to create a sorting system that's going to detect which one of these has been spat out. So to start our sorting system, we're going to come and place a temporary block just on top of our water pillar there. I'm going to have two more, one here and one here. And then on each of these temporary blocks, we're going to have two hoppers facing down. Now place a temporary block on top of each of those hoppers and one more out here. Break the blocks on top of the hoppers and then come over to this side and have hoppers facing into those temporary blocks like so. And then we can break those blocks. Now at this end, you want a hopper facing down into that hopper and then all the way, the rest of the way along, you want hoppers facing sideways into it like so. From each of these three hoppers here below our sideways facing ones, we want one, two, three solid blocks coming out of it like that. And we want comparators facing out of those hoppers like so. From those three end blocks, place two blocks underneath and break the middle one. Do that for all three of them. And then on this middle one here, we want and these ones, we want repeaters facing like that. And then behind the repeaters, we want solid blocks. We also want solid blocks on this side of the repeaters. And we want these solid blocks each to have a redstone torch in it like that. And once you've done that, you can throw down some redstone dust like this. And that is most of our sorting system done. We just need to put the items into these three hoppers. In this first hopper, the one closest to the dropper, we are going to place angry. In the second one, we're going to place sad. And in the third one, we're going to place normal. In each of those three hoppers, we're then going to fill up the remaining spaces each with 11 of any item. I'm just using dirt here. Now this one doesn't have to be named because it's only going to mean the name bits of paper we're getting through here. So you can just use regular dirt, but make sure that it is exactly 44, 11 each in those remaining four spaces and do it for each one of those three hoppers. What that means is that as soon as we get one more item into any one of those hoppers, which will be our item from this dropper here, whichever hopper it goes into, the signal strength is going to increase by one, which is going to allow it to reach this end one here, which is going to do two things. It's going to allow us to take the signal out of this and send it off somewhere else. And it is also going to allow this torch to very briefly turn off to let that new item that came in drop through and we can send it back up into our dropper. Now I've just gone ahead and filled in part of that back wall there with some dark gray concrete just because it makes placing our blocks here a little bit easier. This is probably also a good time to mention that if you're doing this on survival, make sure you 
light up this area inside here and also down there because you do not want any mobs spawning in here while you're trying to build. Anyway, for the outputs for our angry and our sad circuit, we want to put a slab here and a slab here with some redstone dust on them. We don't need to take any kind of output for the normal circuit because this doesn't need to power anything up here to do with the eyes. This basically just tells it to ignore the eyes. Now for our angry circuit, we're going to place a solid block there with a repeater on it. And then we want to place one, two, three, four solid blocks and four more. With a couple of bits of redstone dust there, two repeat, uh, comparators and two more comparators and two dust there. We're going to place two more solid blocks here and here. We want a repeater on that one and some redstone dust on this one. And then we want to come underneath, bring it down and out, one like that. Go one, two, three this way. So it's like that. Bring it up here and then bring it around here so that we can run it up into this. And we're going to run redstone dust all the way along it like so. That does it for our angry circuit. We're going to do a similar thing for our sad circuit. We're going to have a solid block with a repeater like that. I'm going to come up one, and have two, four, like that. We're going to have some redstone dust here and here with comparators coming around like this. And then from this end, we're going to run a repeater going into this block here like that. And that is going to do our sad circuit. Now this is all very, very nearly done now. The last thing we need to do is have a way of after the item has gone through here and been sorted and done its circuit it needs to then come back and go back into the dropper ready for next time before we do that though we're going to run a few quick tests to make sure that all of this is working properly and to do that we're going to take out all but one of the items in here we're going to go run a test to make sure it does angry we're going to switch it for sad and then switch it for normal and check that that is all working properly okay so if we put any old item in here and then press our diamond button. We should see the moustache go. We should see the eyes go angry. There goes the moustache. And there are the angry eyes. Wonderful. So that's working fine. And I've down tested the other two and they work fine as well. So we can crack on and start building the system to get the items back into this dropper here. Don't forget to come and take them out of here if you have tested this. So the first thing we're going to do is take three hoppers and have them one, two, three facing into the back of this dropper just there. Now just next to this end hopper here and going towards the back, we're going to place a piece of glass and bring glass around like this. And then from this piece of glass here, we're going to come down a further one, two, three, four, five. Once you've done that, you can do these other three sides here with the exception of these bottom two blocks just here where we're going to be placing a hopper and a dropper very shortly. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. So you want a temporary block in there and another one here. You want a dropper facing down into that one. Get rid of those and we can have a dropper facing into the pipe like so. And then at the bottom of this pipe, we want a piece of soul sand. There we go. With all of that done, you can go ahead and fill this thing with water all the way up to the top like that and then like the other one we're just going to close off oops not like that we're going to close off the top like that now that all that remains for us to do is to run a line of hoppers from this one here out so they come underneath these here and then do a little circuit to power this drop. So we'll do that now. And then to power this dropper, we're just going to have a couple of blocks like that. And like this, we want a comparator running into that solid block there. We want a bit of redstone dust there and we want a repeater running back into the solid block here and that's going to get that spit an item out whenever it gets one. And now I would say we can give this thing its first proper test. So we're going to use an actual diamond this time and we'll give it an actual question. So something just like, do you work? Stick that in there and then we'll do this properly. We'll go prime grumble, bootload brain, 
flood the mail reservoir, and lastly insert that question diamond. He's gonna have a think about it. Let's see what he comes out with. So there goes the moustache. The light, there go the lights. Seems neutral about that. Mumbo for Matt. Yeah, I would say I would say that's a definitive yes. He is working. Let's double check up here. That presumably means that the normal piece of paper went around, and that is still in there. Good. That has worked. So yeah, that works perfectly. Grumbot, can you do the outro? Okay, it seems okay with that. Don't count on it. Okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. Um, hang on, give me a second. I think I can... Okay, Grumbot, let's try this again. Can you do the outro? And go. Comment, like, subscribe. Yes, yes you can. There you go. Comment, like, and subscribe. Couldn't have said it any better myself, Grumbot. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Seriously, do comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.